Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's the video for this Sunday, March the 8th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And if you haven't been paying attention or you've been living under a rock, this morning is when we spring forward an hour. Daylight savings time started at 2 a.m. local time this morning. So we'll have um, uh, a longer afternoon, or at least it'll feel that way, uh, with um, the way the time will fall today. Across the nation today. Uh, fairly quiet, except for several dozen uh, flood warnings across the southern United States, also across parts of the Midwest, uh, Iowa and Minnesota, rivers in that part of the country. We've got freeze warnings this morning, the coastal plains of Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, lots of uh, small craft advisories, uh, even some gale warnings uh, around Lake Michigan, all along the Atlantic coast, all the way wrapping into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, some wind warnings there, or wind advisories there, parts of uh, Oklahoma and Kansas. And uh, very few winter weather advisories uh, in the northern Sierra this morning. Also, uh, the Sawtooth Range there in Iowa and Idaho around Stanley. Uh, but otherwise, a fairly quiet uh, national weather map this morning. Not so much up at 300 millibars, 30,000 feet where the big jets fly. We've got a split jet flow pattern. Big storm off the California coast. That's our next weather maker. Uh, here in Alabama, a little weak disturbance moving through, but ridging ready to move in right behind it. That weak disturbance only capable of producing some cloudiness. Uh, but you can kind of see the uh, two uh, jet streams there flowing uh, across the uh, United States and North America. Very progressive pattern continues with fast-moving weather systems. But the, uh, uh, the lead is that we're going to have more rain and a lot more of it. Uh, on the same type levels that we've had over the past 30 days. I don't know if you've noticed, um, but um, at the Birmingham airport, nearly 18 inches of rain over the past uh, 30 days. Uh, that ranks 43rd on the list of uh, all-time 30-day totals, which is kind of misleading because those 30-day totals, of course, you know, are really centered around five big events. Uh, back in 1916, we had a, a tropical storm uh, that, created uh, a good bit of rainfall in Birmingham in July and August. Uh, 1961, surprisingly, uh, a big event. 1983, you remember the um, day of the Iron Bowl, we had a big rain uh, that morning uh, in Birmingham that uh, was very, very wet. And then, uh, of course, remembering back to 2003, uh, that big event that affected the eastern half of Birmingham. But this event then would rank probably as the fifth or it would come in in fifth in uh, those wettest stretches if you took the uh, wettest period out of all of those other events plus this one um you know that would be the answer you know you really don't remember many events where we've had this much rain in 30 days and now it looks like we're going to um expand that on the uh, 45 or 60 day list um it could be even more impressive this is the uh Surface map across the United States uh, for noon today off the GFS. High pressure well in charge. It's going to be a beautiful day uh, here across central Alabama. Temperatures in the middle 60s. Uh, we're starting off quite chilly. Uh, probably a little breezy early this morning. And a little bit of a breeze all day long. So you'll hear, you'll hear those wind chimes in those southeastward facing locations uh, kind of pinging away today only uh, a little bit of a cloudiness during the day but not enough to mute the sunshine that cloudiness will um, increase slowly overnight tonight especially as we get toward um, as we get toward the morning 44 the overnight low be on average across uh, central Alabama and it should be completely cloudy by Monday morning now I think we stay dry most of the day tomorrow Temperature is approaching uh, 70 degrees, so it'll be quite a nice day, a good day to um, get out at lunch. Um, although there will be a breezy southeasterly wind gusting to over 20 miles an hour at times. The rain arrives by late Monday afternoon, Monday evening, uh, increases through the night. Uh, rain will be likely all night, Monday night, and a good bit of Tuesday. Uh, this is the GFS for Tuesday noon, showing that rain still continuing. It should be beginning by that time to sort of um, peter out, but um, we'll have still a good bit of rain going on. I think rainfall amounts are going to be fairly light. 
uh, probably less than an inch from this event. So no flooding concerns uh, expected across Alabama. A little bit of a respite Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, but another system is already on the horizon. Remember, I said the system, this uh, pattern is very progressive, and uh, almost as soon as one system departs, another one is uh, locking into place heading our way. That system affects us for Wednesday night. Um, go back a quick mention. I think you know there's a chance you'll hear some thunder Monday afternoon, or I'm sorry, Tuesday afternoon, um, but not much of a chance, and certainly no severe weather. Uh, same thing with Wednesday. Uh, a chance of some thunder, um, you know, during the uh, late afternoon, evening hours, but again, no severe weather. Uh, as we move into Thursday, that front just has a hard time getting through that stubborn uh, high-pressure ridge to the east of Alabama. Sort of stalls out over us. That keeps rain chances uh, for Thursday. But the good news is each one of these days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're really close to 70 degrees for the daytime highs. Overnight lows only dropping into the middle and upper 50s. So um, it's going to feel quite comfortable, a little bit above normal for this time of year. Now, by Friday noon, high pressure has uh, managed to push that front down to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and if this is true, we could get a little bit of a respite Friday afternoon, Friday night. Um, but look what happens by Saturday. Uh, rain's back in here um, by Saturday. And uh, it still continues to be warm, though. High temperatures again near 70. Sunday, more of the same. High temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, and that system is still hanging around. Um, but then, um, you know, we're starting to look out for significant rainfall in the extended period, because this is a very extended voodoo run here. 7 p.m. Wednesday on uh, March the 19th. Lots of rain over Alabama. This could be one of the bigger events, probably an inch and a half out of that system at least. And then another big event. 6 p.m. on Saturday the 21st. So they'll be, they'll be coming fast and furious, and they're going to total up. This is the GFS 16-day precip. This is not a forecast, but this is a possibility that we could have another 6 to 10-inch rain uh, event over the 16 days um, total in, this, in the I-59 corridor. Now, this has been shifting northward and southward, but staying pretty consistent that the rainfall is going to be excessive over the next two weeks. And that would only add to our flooding woes. These are temperatures, though. They're going to be mild, approaching 70 degrees all next week. Um, not much cooler than that. Middle 60s in that second week. No really cold air in sight. So don't forget to set those clocks ahead. And I hope you have a great Sunday. Uh, we'll have the, all the notes on the blog, of course. James will be back two days tomorrow until next Sunday when I get to sit with you again. As I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.